Hi everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. Okay, so today I'm going to be talking about something that's been on my mind for the last few days just due to some recent events that have happened and I kind of want to get it off my chest and just be honest with you guys, really. I recently had a video on Facebook go viral on a Donald Trump fan page which basically was a hate video about me. It was really, really stupid and it was basically mocking my like gender identity and the fact that I identify as non-binary gender fluid. So obviously that video did go viral. It's obviously on three and a half million views now and it's been really, really intense and it's been shared on so many people's Facebook. We've had so many people messaging me saying, this person's done that, is this you? Like, what's going on? Why is this stuff happening? And it's actually been like a really, really intense thing that I've never actually experienced before. Now, I'm used to getting hate on YouTube. Like, I've had people make hate videos on YouTube before. Like, Undoomed got like 200,000 views. I think that was like the max that one of these hate videos actually got. So like, I have kind of experienced it, but never on this scale and on this platform. Actually having it on Facebook and having loads of my friends like, tag me in this stuff saying this is on here what's what's going on what's happening family members have seen it like friends from like america who look like, who i've not spoke to in a long time have had them on their feeds like it's literally gone insane people i work with at work have had this been shared on their feed i have never received so many death threats, so much intense kind of like, you should die, you're disgusting, you're scum, you look like all these like words under the sun, like insulting every single little part of my like body, my face, everything. I am a very strong person and actually I'm really glad that this has happened to me and not some of my other, you know, non-binary people that I know, like my friends who do videos around this content because I know that I can handle this a lot more than what a lot of these other people can. But even me, I have found it difficult to deal with a lot of this because it has been so public and in my actual life and not just a YouTube-y thing and we've gone to the sun again. Word of advice for anyone trying to make videos, get blackout curtains because this is insane. This is annoying and insane. This isn't an isolated incident. This stuff happens all the time and as a non-binary person, as a queer person, as someone of the LGBT community, this is the stuff that we do have to deal with. As someone who is seen by, you know, thousands of people around the world, I am putting myself out there and I am doing that. So this isn't like this doesn't shock me but it's also sometimes a bit of a re like a reality kick that you think everything's all nice and you think everything's so la to die in your little world and you know, I'm surrounded by my LGBT bubble. But now and then stuff like this happens and you like the bubble suddenly pops and you realize that actually outside of your world there's so much hatred towards you. There is so much vile venomous people out there. I had to go to a party on Saturday and I went out the house and I felt anxious and I hated the fact, I hated the fact that it got to me and that I had had that. Also taking into consideration that I do work part-time in retail, which is a very, very public facing job. And the other day, the other day someone recognized me and said, I saw you on Facebook. And instantly I had dread in my stomach. Cause I was like, you recognized me from this horrible video. Turns out it was from something that I did with BBC three a long time ago about the whole things not to say to non-binary people. And that was great. But the fact that my mind instantly went to something negative made me really sad because you know, my online life and my online world is my, like, it's just, everything I've ever wanted is everything I like. I just, I love doing this so much. And the fact that it got a little bit tainted by that video has really upset me that it's actually done that to me. And no one, no one deserves, I don't care who you are. No one deserves to be talked to and treated like that for something that that's, that's not bad. I am not doing anything negative. I'm not, you know, hurting anyone. I'm not forcing people to watch. I'm not forcing people to do things they don't want to do. I'm merely telling people how I live my life and how I express myself and how I identify as a non-binary person and how I do that. You have to remember that they're reacting so visceral, like visceral towards that kind of thing because what they've been taught, male and female, is under scrutiny and under kind of, um, you know, this sort of like being dissembled and in front of them and they're like, <gasps> what? <gasps> so they panic and it makes them think about something they've never ever thought about before because their minds are like, what are you talking like? And it, and it goes into kind of like, die, like panic mode. Oh God, and now we literally are on the sun. But this is definitely something that as, you know, a queer person, I have to deal with a lot. And this is something that I do have to deal with it like a lot of time. And as much as I laugh about it and I make jokes, this is a very serious thing. And it, you know, to a lot of people, it can be very taxing on their mental health. And I've struggled with this one more so than anything else that's happened just because it has been so 
invested in my own life and the fact that all of these people who are not in my YouTube circle or not in my YouTube life have seen this and been involved in it, that scares me. And that is, that is, you know, that is worrying. And again, because it was on Facebook and it was a little bit weird, like you could, I went onto, I went onto so many of these people's profiles and it's weird because you can see them. YouTube, they have like fake pictures and like out like, you know, aliases and like weird names and stuff. But to see these people, they're like everyday people. They're like people that were just walking on the street. And like you, it feels so much more real. That's, I think it's what it's like, it feels so much more real than any hate comment on YouTube does because people would like X candle lover one seven, you know, calling me a faggot. Doesn't mean anything because they're, they're no, like who who is that? I have no idea who this person is. No pictures, no anything. Like they're just, it just looks like a text on the screen. But being able to go on someone's profile, seeing their life, seeing who they are, seeing their photos, seeing, you know, people that know them, seeing all this kind of stuff, and then seeing a comment from them saying, I want you to die, or I'm going to kill you if I saw you. That kind of stuff, it feels so much more real because you can see them. Like I get a lot of attention in public anyway, just because I do look a little bit more extreme than the m most of people. So now it was changing to me, I was thinking to myself, are they looking at me because they've seen this video? Or are they looking at me because they know who I am? Or are they like, you know, are they looking at me because I just look different and they're a little bit more intrigued? Like it's been, it's been, very, very difficult for me to kind of process a lot of the stuff that's happened. And I'm not ever gonna stop doing what I do and it's not gonna stop me from living my life when I am a very proud non-binary person. I'm gender fluid. I love the fact that, you know, I don't identify as men and female. I don't want this to like ruin your feelings about me or ruin anything you've had because, you know, I, I know you guys see me as a strong person and I get a lot of comments on my hate comments video going, the way you handle it is amazing. But I also wanna be real with you and I'm not gonna lie to you. I've had a lot of people message me saying, I'm so glad this kind of happened because I saw someone in a different light. So I'm glad that I've had that kind of impact for that reason. And I kind of wanted to start like a new little series around this stuff. I want, this has kind of like made me want to do more queer content. You know you're doing something right when you do get outside of your box and outside of your bubble because as much as I love all of you guys, it's definitely like I'm preaching to the choir, echo chamber. It's very, you kind of feel like people are more accepting than they really are, but it's just because you're in your little bubble. So when you get out of that and you see what the real world is like and see how much homophobia and transphobia and like race, all this kind of stuff, like you see how much stuff is actually outside of your little worlds that you live in, you realize that there's so much more progression that needs to happen. Pride is still so important because it's not as nice as what people want to make out. So I'm definitely going to start doing a new little segment. I think I might call it like queer chat or something. I can have some friends on and things and talk about some issues that they might face. And I think that might be a nice thing to do like queer chat. Do you think, do you think queer chat would be good? If, put it down, tell me if you think down below, queer chat would be good. I don't know how many people are still watching because this video is going to be long. Tell me down below. <laughs> I'm fine. So please don't worry about me. I am fine. Like it's, I, I'm perfectly okay. Um, but I just wanted to come on just to kind of talk. And I feel like it's good to get it off your chest and like, with this series that I wanna do, I want it to be like a nice discussion-y thing where I can just be like talking to, you know, to my friends about stuff and talking to people I know about things. And sometimes if I wanna discuss an issue, I can come on to you guys and just chat and not have the pressure of, you know, crazy editing and all that stuff. Do not let this scare you for being who you are. A lot of these people will never actually do anything. Like the majority of the people are just keyboard warriors who think they're hard and actually in real life, they wouldn't even go near you. So please don't, like, please don't expect this stuff to happen to you all the time. The only time that it is an exception is obviously if you do things like I do, where I put myself out there to the world and I talk about issues that get people talking, I talk about issues where people go a little bit crazy about. When you do something that I do, you have to kind of expect that reaction from a lot of people because again, it's messing with the, what they've known for, for a while. If I can change someone's life, if I can, you know, impact someone and make them think about something differently, then that's my job done. Um, but unfortunately, sometimes I do have this along the way. <laughs> but um, I'm fine. And so don't worry about me too much. I just wanted to come on and just like talk about my, you know, just talk about it and just, get it off my chest and just, this is how I feel at the moment. Please hit the like button guys, it does really help me out. And there's always links down below, my Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Make sure you come and follow me on them. We can all chat and have fun. And I'll see you very soon and I adore you. And if you want to consider being a Patreon as well and help me out with my life, there's a Patreon link down there. Um, and I adore you and I'll see you soon. Bye.